Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Mods. I hold in my hand probably the moth that is responsible for me starting the Keys Mods project. Guys, this moth is a very, very special one. This is Eupyrhar Glossum Sagra, the Sagra Sphinx. It's a Cuban Sphinx moth that strayed over here from the Caribbean uh, sometime in the 1990s and this little guy showing up sparked my interest in the mods of the Florida Keys, started me going down and collecting down there. And guys, I have, you have no idea how special this moth is to me. We're going to tell you all about this special little rare little gem. This is a hard bug to find, guys. Um, we're going to tell you all about the Sagra Sphinx in this video. Um, it's a great bug. So guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because that helps out our channel. Helps us grow when you hit the like button and when you comment. Also, comment down below. Have you ever seen a Sagra Sphinx? And if so, I'd love to know where because I have a few locations where I've found them, but they're not easy to find. So guys, let's get to the video and I'll tell you everything I know about you far hard glossum Sagra, the Sagra Sphinx. Eupyra Harglossum Sagra. Guys, this bug right here uh, is a super, super special bug. And I want you to kind of like take a look at how this thing is built. It's built like a like a, a jet pilot. I mean, it's a, it's a fighter jet, man. Like thing is so strong. The thorax on this butterfly, I'm sorry, the thorax on this moth is so thick and muscular that when it flies, I mean, you, if you're gonna try and photograph it or video it or collect it, you better be quick. Because if you're not, you're gonna blink and this moth will be gone. And I'm not, I can't tell you how many times um, that I've seen this bug disappear in a flash and so fast you can't even see where it went. So the Sagra Sphinx, guys, is a crepuscular or flying moth. If it flies at night, they will come to lights but I have not found them very commonly at lights. The best way to find this bug is to find flowers that it likes to nectar on. And I found them, actually the, the actual most common way to find this bug is in, on this blue mist flower, this Christmas flower. I used to call it Eupatorium. I think it's got a different name now. And it goes into bloom in between Christmas and New Year. And you can find it on the sides of the road in disturbed areas. And if you go at twilight, on, at sunrise and sunset, you can find this guy along with some of its other crepuscular flying um, relatives nectaring happily on the Eupatorium flowers. And that is the best way to find this bug. I found a dozen of them in a night just flying on these flowers. And so they very rarely come to lights, guys. They do every now and then show up at a light sheet or in a bucket light trap, but it's very rare. And so I wouldn't count on seeing them. You know, the, how this bug, how it started with this bug, uh, right around 1999, 98, 99, Leroy Kane started going down to the Keys looking for this moth because it had been reported to have been found in Key Largo. So we would go, I would go take trips with him and we would go hopping gas stations, looking for, looking on the lights on gas station walls and shopping centers, the public shopping center. Mile marker 101 is actually where I found my very first Sagra Sphinx. That's my very first one, guys. Found on the public shopping center back in 1999, I believe it is. And that was after about 20 trips to the Keys. And so not easy to find. And, and I can tell you right now, I, it was in late morning, probably like 10 o'clock in the morning. We stopped at this gas uh, shopping center, started walking around. And I saw it on the, um, on the uh, side of the building. And as I walked up to it, I had my net in my hand. As soon as it saw me pro approaching, it dropped off the wall and was going to fly away. And, I, I, you know, fortunately, I was quick enough to catch it. Um, that was my first record. And when I started to understand that this moth had just shown up from the Caribbean, from Cuba, from the Bahamas, I believe, 
Uh, it really sparked my interest and I just started going, you know, coming down to the Keys very, very regularly looking for this moth. Now, it, over the next couple of years, I'd only wind up finding a couple of them, like three or four, uh, over the next several years of searching. Um, but it wasn't until I got my permit at Crocodile Lake National Wildlife Refuge where I would uh, eventually discover them nectaring on the Eupatorium. Uh, Key Largo had been the only island I'd found them on uh, until just a couple of years ago, all the way in, I think it was nine, uh, 2017, it was the first time we saw them on Big Pine Key. So I don't know if they had always, always lived on Big Pine Key and we just hadn't seen them or if their range was expanding south in the Keys, I'm not sure. Um, they've also been reported from the southernmost mainland as well. Now, guys, males and females are very, very similar. This here is a male. You can see the claspers down here on the, uh, this big tuft down here on the, the bottom of the abdomen. And look at the abdomen. It's got, even the abdomen's got pretty pink dots on it. Big, strong moth. When it's fresh, guys, there's like an iridescent purple sheen on the four wings. And of course, it's got that really cool yellow stripe. Now, the males have a thicker yellow stripe on the hind wing than the females. Females, there it is, guys. Um, pretty cool bug. Amazing, amazing insect. And uh, let me show you the underside. Underside of this guy is pretty cool as well. Nice little mottled pattern there. But, guys, um, the Sagra Sphinx flies a lot like a hummingbird at flowers. So if, if you're at twilight and you see this little thing zip in, it takes an nectar, it zips, and you can hear the wings, bzzz, you know, and then all of a sudden it disappears. Um, that could be the Sagar Sphinx. There's a few other creatures that are similar, such as the half-blind Sphinx, Paragonia lusca. Um, we have the morning Sphinx, which lacks obviously any yellow on the hind wing, but they will fly similarly. And then of course the uh, Tantalus Sphinx, um, that also fly at twilight at flowers. We'll go over a few of those in different videos, but I just wanted to show you some of the similar species. And these are our Sagra Sphinx. Look at that, that name. It's a tough name to uh, get under your belt. Eupyrohar glossum Sagra. Yeah, that's right. So um, guys, let me show you a little bit about what we've got on this bug. We'll go to our website here, um, the Sagra Sphinx. We'll click on that. Okay. Sagra Sphinx very rarely will ever land showing off any of its yellow hind wings. Um, so there's a little bit of a glimpse of the hind wings, but you're, you're typically when they land, they're gonna look like this and they're not gonna show off any of their yellow hind wings at all. Um, actually, I need to update this. I found them, I found it on no name key, so I need to update this website. Uh, we found them in most months of the year. Uh, in the city of Key Largo, I found them most commonly in the in the winter months, but um, they sort of disappear from the city, you know, from finding them on gas station lights during the uh, spring. Uh, but May and June it are probably the most common months to find them on at lights in, in uh, National Wildlife Refuge in Key Largo. Um, now, November, December are, of course, when we find them nectaring on the flowers, and that's great. Now, rough velvet seed uh, is the host plant, and typically known for, um, the, 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 actually, the caterpillar is green and is very, very similar to the half-blind sphinx, which we're not gonna get into right now. But they are from Cuba. It is a Cuma, Cuban stray and you know it is we've only found them in a half a dozen spots and you know at several gas stations in key largo and you know it, it is a great little bug and you can see some of the beautiful purple coloration when they're fresh um it's it, you know that purple coloration tends to disappear as the bug flies around a bit but uh beautiful bug guys i remember the fire station in Key Largo was the second one I've ever seen. And it was about 20 feet up on the wall. And I was getting my extension net put up, put together. And right before I could get my extension net 
uh, put together to get my, my second specimen, an American kestrel flies at the bug and grabs it and flies away and eats it like, right in front of me. Kind of like in your face, dude, you're, you're not getting this bug. So uh, guys, that's about all we got for the Sagra Sphinx. It's a great bug, very, very tough to find, very skittish and nearly impossible to observe in nature um, for any prolonged period of time. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video on the Sagra Sphinx. It is a beauty. I truly love this bug, and uh, I hope you can see why I think it's so special. Okay. Guys, um, give me a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we would love it if you would join the Southern Lepidoptera Society. Um, link to their website is in our description of our video. Uh, it's a great group of guys and gals that study butterflies and moths of the southern United States. And uh, we would love for you to join our society. And, and let's get educated on butterflies and moths of the southern United States together. Also, we have a, a website. It's keysmoths.com. We have all the moths of the Florida Keys. Seven, no, 600 species of moths. 100 species of butterflies. All there for you so that you can check those out on your own time. So, guys, take care. Uh, Stay safe. Let's get out there and find some cool bugs like the Sagra Sphinx. Ciao.